Magandang gabi po. Welcome to the Philippines Edu Webinars. Good evening, everybody. This event is in collaboration with QSR Corporation, a Google Cloud, and education partner in the Philippines, Google Educator Groups, GEG Philippines, and Acer. Tonight's session will help us jumpstart your school into digital learning with Mr. Isaac Vargas. He's a coordinator and senior teacher for Math and Science in Tree Institute. Good evening po, Sir Isaac. Uh, good evening sa, sa mga nanonood. Uh, Sir uh, Adrian, good evening din. Kamusta po kayo? <laughs> okay naman. Uh, I think uh, we're on our um, 15th, 16th day po ng, ng quarantine. Pangilang araw na po, ano? But, uh, yeah. um, I hope for, for everybody, I hope you're safe. Uh, at maraming salamat po sa mga nanonood ngayon. Ayan. Tingnan po muna natin ang ating uh, comment section. Sir Kevin, good evening. QSR, thank you very much. Ma'am Gertrude, Ma'am Triz, Karen, Joan, Rona, good evening Good evening po sa inyong lahat. Oh, we, Tonight, have, we, have sir, <laughs> we have viewers already pala. Yes, maraming salamat po sa mga nanonood. Uh, tonight, Sir Isaac will help us how to jumpstart into distance learning. Ayan. So, Sir Isaac, I'll leave the floor with you uh, sa discussion po na ito. Ayan. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Sir Adrian. And sa mga nanonood, uh, so this this session is um, um, more 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 or less will we'll give you some practical tips, no? Um, how do you start up? Uh, how do you jump start your school into uh, digital learning? Ano yung mga practical things na pwede niyong gawin um, sa umpisa para um, maumpisa niyo yung digital learning for your for your school? No? So uh, I'll be talking uh, mostly from also from my personal experience as a, as a teacher and as a coordinator. Uh, currently, yung school namin, uh, ongoing pa yung aming uh, uh, online classes no naka break lang kami for for the whole week pero since nag quarantine tuloy-tuloy yung aming mga online classes via Google Classroom so so how are paano namin nagawa yon no so paano namin so uh, here are some some steps and some tips that you can you can uh, you can do no? so let's start with um, yeah so jump starting your school into digital learning uh, first so uh, the best thing you can do is 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 to take stock of what you have already. Tingnan nyo muna kung ano yung meron kayo sa school nyo. No? Um, yung tinatawag natin learning environment. No? Pag sinabi natin learning environment, uh, maraming ibig sabihin to. Pwedeng uh, small groups of of uh, students or uh, yung level na mga, uh, per level na mga students. So isang learning environment or isang class itself is a, is a learning environment. Or even a group of teachers can be called a learning environment. So let's take a look at uh, some guide questions. I prepared some guide questions para for you to examine uh, yung current learning environment. No? So let's uh, start with the first. No? So you take a look at how, how your officers and teachers interact with one another. Uh, yung dissemination ba ng information nyo? Kailangan ba palaging uh, nagmi-meeting kayo? Or do you send emails to one another? Or do you send notes to one another? So, tingnan nyo rin yung communication nyo among, among students and among teachers. And also among officers and, and teachers. Second question, what are the modes of teaching? May mga teachers ba na madalas gumagamit ng multimedia? May mga teachers ba kayong madalas na gumagamit ng uh, YouTube? So, you, you take note of those kasi magiging very useful yun uh, sa inyo. Uh, may mga teachers ba kayong purely paper, paper work lang yung pinapagawa? So, sa mga bata. So, uh, you also take a look at that. No? And next is, uh, how do you measure learning? Ito, importante ito. No? Uh, yung mga test nyo ba, um, nagko-combine ba kayo ng practical test with the uh, paper and pencil test? Or purely paper and pencil test? Or may mga performance uh, tests ba kayo? Or may mga projects ba yung school nyo at the end of the year? So, tingnan nyo rin yun. No? 
uh, ilang teachers ang gumagawa no at, at, at uh, anong mga levels next question uh, very important ilang mga teachers ang digitally adept or marunong ng marunong sa technology no? or, or at least madali silang maka-adapt sa technology a very crucial to kasi uh, i think in, in some of the sa webinars na mentioned na kailangan meron kang core group of teachers who will pioneer this uh, sila yung maging core support group mo in case na uh, may mga questions yung mga teachers who are nag-hesitate na mag mag uh, uh, mag shift into digital learning at least meron kang maasahan ng mga teachers na who will be ready to answer their questions and also to uh, yung mga anxiety ng mga ibang teachers when it comes to using digital learning. You have other teachers who can answer answer those questions. Yeah. And the last one I put here, the last question is, uh, how do you accomplish yung administrative tasks? Uh, ano ba itong mga ito? At the end of the year, uh, teachers are supposed to submit grades. Teachers are supposed to submit uh, reports on students. No? Uh, how do you accomplish this? Uh, may mga deadlines ba na mahaba or are you given enough time or uh, puro paper paper submissions lang ba to? Uh, ano yung mga requirements that, that teachers have to submit at the end of the year uh, sa administra administration? So you take a look at that, those things also. How do you, uh, for example, how do teachers uh, uh, apply for leaves? Uh, ano ba yung mga uh, administrative papers, admin papers that teachers have to fill in uh, as a requirement? So tingnan nyo rin yun. Okay, so as soon as you've examined your, your learning environment, um, oh, by the way, don't limit the, the scope of the questions uh, just with these five things. These are the basic, basic ones. Pwede pa kayo magdagdag ng mga questions dito. Yeah. So as soon as you find out the answers to these five questions, malaman nyo na yung, yung uh, current status ng learning environment nyo, you can proceed to the next so I, I I call this uh, problems disguise, disguised as opportunities. No? So yung mga problems that I will mention are opportunities to na magkakaroon kayo ng uh, solutions for this later on. Uh, let's take a look at these common problems. I, I just compiled yung mga commonly na experience ng mga uh, schools, no? and I I can probably tell uh, that say that uh, karami na mga schools would say yes to this, but you can add more to these pro uh, problems, these guys' as opportunities uh, as we go along in the discussion. No? So number one, uh, I know all schools, all teachers would, would say yes to this. Checking papers consumes a lot of time. Yeah, so this is a problem, but later on, we'll find out that there's an opportunity for us to solve this using in within the digital learning environment. Yeah. Um, Student projects consume too much material. So, um, um, if, if I can speak for our school, yung, yung projects kasi na ginagawa ng mga estudyante sa school namin. Sa school ginagawa. So, wala, wala kami mga projects na ginagawa sa bahay. Okay? So, uh, namamonitor namin yung mga uh, collaboration ng mga estudyante, whether it's a, it's a physical project or an, an online project. Nakikita namin yung mga ginagawa ng mga estudyante. So, uh, isang problema is yung sobrang daming materials na gagamitin ng mga estudyante and, and the amount of time na ginagawa nila yung project nila. Um, baka naman pwedeng ma ma mapalitan yun. No? Kasi when you assign projects to students, they will have to buy materials or they will have to bring materials. Tapos, anong gagawin ng, ng teacher dun sa mga nakolektang projects at the end of the school year? Most of the time, tinatambak lang sa bodega ng school, no, after machikan. O kaya, ipapauwi sa mga bata. After that, uh, anong gagawin ng estudyante dun sa, sa project? Nakastock lang sa, sa bahay, no? It occupies space and uh, maraming materials na ikamit. So let's go to the next uh, problem. Um, I know a lot of you will, might say yes to this. Information and textbooks aren't updated regularly. Uh, as far as I, I, I know in, in uh, a lot of schools, um, they usually have a three-year cycle before they change. Uh, they change textbooks, or unless yung yung uh, yung publisher ng book mismo ay, ay But um, this can be an opportunity for your students to look for updated uh, 
information online. So, hindi sila nakadepende lang sa books. Uh, you will find this out in, in, in while using uh, digital learning. So, next is students seldom collaborate. Now, in the real world, after uh, mag-aral yung mga bata, nagkaroon sila mga trabaho, I know you will say yes to this. You will agree to this. Collaboration in the workplace is a skill na dapat matutunan ng mga bata. Estudyante pa lang sila. They should know how to work harmoniously in a group, uh, how to how to work in a group, basically. How to contribute in a group. And when they get to the work environment, na sila. Ito yung isa sa mga requirements uh, sa mga employees. Or, or if, even kung may sarili silang negosyo. Collaboration is a very, very important uh, uh, Long meeting, at medyo administrative, long meetings that could have been organized. So, tingnan nyo kung, kung halimbawa, kailan uh, nyo uh, uh, gather ng information or data from the public. Uh, your, does your, does your uh, administration always have to conduct a meeting? na muna yung information mo. And then, uh, feedback is collected from the teachers uh, bago mag-schedule ng meeting. If the purpose of the meeting is to disseminate information. So, these are basic problems. So, let's take a look at the next step. So, as soon as you have identified these problems, you can now go go ahead and do the first, uh, the next steps. The next step is building your scaffolding. Now, why did I use the word scaffolding? Um, may kita nyo kapag may mga gumagawa ng mga buildings uh, or, or bahay, no? They start from the ground. Yung mga uh, skeleton-like um, structures na they're called scaffoldings. Now, the advantage of those scaffoldings is that you can start small. Tapos, the main function of the scaffolding is to provide support. Okay, to provide support. And, but you know, the advantage is you can start scaffolding. You can add more. Depends on goals of school. So you can start small. Uh, you don't have to, to start very big. Look at the baby steps na pwede niyong gawin. So, number one is to train and certify your teachers and staff. So, two things. I put the words train and certify. Pag nag-train kayo sa Google, uh, after the training, uh, you, can, you can apply for an examination. Level one examination is the very famous. I really, really seriously suggest that your teachers and staff uh, inform uh, because uh, this will be a good good uh, confidence builder for your teachers. Uh, the sila certification that they can um, implement these learning tools, digital learning tools. Also included staff, no? Wag lang yung, uh, pati yung initiative staff, isama nyo rin sa training. So, very basic and very, very important. Next is, you train your students, no? As soon as your teachers know how to use the uh, digital learning tools, um, you also schedule some time for your students to practice using, using these uh, tools because uh, like the quarantine, we don't have physical contact with your students but once they open the Google Classroom, they know what to do already because we spend some time training them to my classes. Pa. Next is, uh, again, I think this. You create a support group of digitally adaptives. You identify uh, like a Shai small... Sir Isaac? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Oo, oh, medyo nag-earn lang tayo, medyo meron lang tayo nga uh, um, medyo inconsistent yung ating sound quality on your end. Uh, interrupt lang natin na onte no, kasi uh, maraming nanunood um, Test natin sa ulit if uh, medyo okay na yung ating sound. Double check lang natin. 
Kamusta yung sound, sir? Ayan, medyo kanina kasi ano. Ah, okay. Medyo parang may... Uh, may may, may Morph, parang oh. ano, parang biglang umihina yung boses. Then, uh, ayan. So, I think uh, ngayon medyo okay na. Um, okay. Siguro sa ano, can you repeat the part from the train and certifier teachers para po sa mga... Um, hindi masyado nakarinig ng part po na yun. Ah, okay. Sige. Ayan, so, ulitin lang, okay. ulitin lang natin yung uh, importance ng training and certifying your teachers. No? Um, number one, um, merong formal training talaga for for using Google uh, Education, Google for Education. No? And I seriously suggest that, strongly suggest that your teachers undergo training and then they should take the level one, at least the level one um uh, test no? as a Google educator. Dahil um, after testing, your teachers will be more confident. Once they gain the 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 badge, no? they will be more confident in applying this. Uh, hindi, I think in, hindi enough yung training lang. No? Kailangan mag, mag undergo sila ng testing and certification. Um, th- it gives them also authority into applying the Google uh, Google tools. Also include your staff, wag lang yung teachers. Even yung admin staff nyo sa, sa office, you, you should also include them. Okay. How's the audio, sir, Adrian? Okay na? Okay na, sir. Very right. clear. So you, you also train your students, no? Uh, ginawa namin on our part, um, nung meron pang classes, uh, once the teachers have already uh, learned the Google for Education tools, we also train our students how to use them. So on during the during the uh, class days, no, bago mag quarantine, uh, we made the point na mag uh, mag train yung mga students namin. At uh, so that when when the quarantine was implemented, uh, automatically the students already know how to navigate dun sa mga uh, ins and outs ng ng uh, Google Classroom in particular. And number three, uh, Create, you create a support group of digitally adept teachers. So it, it can be a group of maybe four or five teachers. Yung talagang um, uh, marunong na. So you assign them as uh, a support group. So kung may mga teachers na may tanong uh, how to use a certain uh, certain uh, Google tool or, or application, you have re- already a group of teachers who can answer those questions. No? Uh, so so that hindi lang hindi lang nakasalalay dun sa administration yung pag uh, pagtrain dun sa mga teachers so sila sila mismo yung mga trained teachers uh, nagkakaturuan din sila kung ano yung uh, best way how to use the Google uh, edu- for education tools and next is yeah, practice and use the digital tools regularly so the year before the quarantine ang ginawa namin per level at least uh, some teachers meron siyang isang subject na naka Google Classroom kung yung teacher meron siyang let's say anim na subjects at least isa isa doon na naka Google Classroom so um, nagpa-practice yung teacher nagpa-practice din yung mga subject so we did it uh, sorry one more sorry one more ulit meron ulit uh I just okay. a um how's the audio sir okay na better ayan okay okay so uh kailangan regularly pina-practice niyo yung uh, paggamit ng mga Google Google tools for for education um the year before the quarantine ang ginawa natin direct um uh, more or less yung mga teachers natin required na isang subject nila naka Google Classroom. Subukan nilang maka Google Classroom. So we're hitting two birds with one stone. Uh, yung teacher na pa-practice and yung students na pa-practice also. So hindi kami nag-roll out ng full-scale uh, use ng Google Classroom. So we did scaffolding. We did uh, one subject at a time. Hanggang sa nasanay na yung mga teachers. But we made it a point na regularly ginag then next is um, you share experiences. No? So, like once a month, uh, kapag may mga meetings kami uh, sa faculty, uh, 
we share yung advantages na experience personally sa paggamit ng Google Classroom. So, uh, little by little, we identify na identify namin yung mga skills Pwede namin gamitin yung yung tools ng Google Classroom, Google for Education. Uh, dahil na rin sa feedback ng why don't we use this for, for this certain purpose? Bakit natin, hindi natin gamitin yung pwede ba natin gamitin yung uh, collecting uh, feedback for uh, discipline uh, feedback uh, from students for students from teachers. So, so nagawa, rin na, nagawa rin namin yun. Okay, so we'll go to the, the last portion. So, so as soon as Start uh, building your small scaffolding. Um, you identify certain Google apps na pwede nyo. So, Sir Isaac, so, sorry, yes, one more app to interrupt. Um, um, yes, while you're checking the, the the your audio, pa double check po, sir, if uh, um, maayos na po. While doing it, sir, magpa-plug lang muna ako na, sir. While uh, okay, while you sir. do it. Okay. For the others po na nanonood or bagong pasok lang, if you're really, if you're interested to get your Google for Education accounts for your schools, you can email education at qsr.com para po makakuha na po kayo ng Google for Education. Again, that's for free. Once you get your Google for Education accounts, you can create as many as 10,000 accounts for teachers, students, for admin and staff, and for each account, that's unlimited storage. So unlimited storage versus yung Google Drive na ginagamit nyo ngayon na personal na 15 gig. So pag-isipan nyo po mabuti, again, email education at qsr.com. Sir, okay na po ang audio ninyo? Uh, I think okay na, sir. Uh, kamusta? kamusta okay. I think that's better. Better, I see. Okay. Uh, so, sorry. Again, for, um, the, for the others, po, it's education at qsr.com. So it's also flash in the screen. Maraming salamat po. Sir Isaac, okay na po. Continue na tayo. Thank you po ulit. Okay. Uh, let's continue to the last uh, the last portion. So I will share with you some um, some suggested Google apps. No, I'll just show the icons. No. So I, I call this the digital tools starter pack. So um, do, uh, also let's let's try to magset tayo ng, ng expectations. No? We don't expect uh, your teachers or your school to be able to in in one one month or two months to master all the the Google tools uh, for, for education. No? But we are suggesting this start. I'm suggesting this starter pack uh, because they have certain purposes. Na baka uh, mag-fit dun sa need nyo. So, tingnan natin isa-isa, no? Uh, and I will explain um, uh, ano yung practical use nung, nung isa, uh, bawat isang uh, Google, Google app. No? So, let's start with this. So, I, I think you can identify this uh, right away. This is uh, Google Forms. No? Uh, so, directly, we can say na um, pwede kang gumawa ng exams at ma it will solve the problem of, uh, you, remember a while ago I said, it takes a lot of time checking papers. So, pwede mong gamitin yung Google Forms for that. Also, uh, if you need to gather information from the teachers uh, so that you won't have to go around and, and, and talk to each of them, pwede kang mag-send ng Google Forms. Also. Even to parents, ginagamit din namin to, um, to as a survey form to get uh, if we need information from them. Um, nagbapadala kami ng Google Forms sa, sa parents. Uh, even yung pag-file ng leaves, Google Form din yung ginagamit namin. So we won't have to go down to the office and then um, to seek approval. Uh, approval is given through the Google Form. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay. Um, yung grading system ng school namin. This is Google Slides, by the way. Uh, yung grading si system ng school namin is already accomplished uh, by uh, Google, uh, sorry, uh, Google Sheets. No? Um, that the mga teachers nag-input ng Grades via Google Sheets and real time. Nakikita agad nung coordinator yung mga grades ng mga estudyante. No? We don't have to wait for everyone to finish. Uh, early as um, 
matapos checkan yung test, yung teachers makapag-input na sila ng, ng uh, grades nila. So, ayun, real-time na hindi ano according to uh, Next is uh, Google Docs. No? So, kung may mga documents kayo, kailangan nyo mag-collaborate uh, several people uh, doing a document at one time. Uh, pwede nyo gamitin to as team. Uh, kasi several of you can open the document at the same time. Pwede kayo mag-input, pwede kayo mag-edit. Pwede nyo ring gamitin to for your students. If you want the students to uh, spend time collaborating on, on projects, very simple projects, pwede nyo gamitin to uh, Google Docs. I think there there was a separate webinar for the, all the features for, for Google Docs. Or you want you may want to discover it uh, by yourself. Very, very useful on Google Docs. And next is... So, ito na yung uh, pwede nyong i-substitute for, for student projects. No? Like what I said uh, uh, in the earlier slides, na you can save a lot of uh, materials in, 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 uh, in school projects by using uh, Google Slides. No? Uh, you can let your students explore this at I assure you, um, madali nila matutunan gumamit ng Google Slides. You just have to teach them the the basic uh, the basic uh, features of Google Slides. Okay, the next one that pwede yung gamitin then, of course the calendar. No, like uh, I said a while ago, I mentioned something about the meetings. Um, usually, ginagawa sa school namin, nag-schedule kami ng meetings via Google uh, Calendar, and yung agenda binibigay na ahead of time. So before we go to the meeting, alam na ng mga teachers. Uh, way ahead of time kung anong, anong mangyayari and uh, ano yung pag-uusapan. Um, also, another advantage is that even kapag naka-Android phone ka, yung notification for the meeting, maratanggap yung teacher. And... Um, next is, yan, very important, yung Google Drive because this will serve as a, a archive of all the documents. So, Kapag may mga documents na uh, kailangan ma-retrieve, ma save nyo lang sa Google uh, Drive and it's going to be there for for uh, for everyone to see. You can share it to the uh, teachers na kailangan uh, maka-access noon. Uh, previous tests or uh, test data, uh, test banks from the previous years, pwede nyo ilagay dyan. Uh, lahat ng references, ng extra references na pinibigyan nyo sa mga students uh, from the internet, pwede nyo i-collect at i-share sa mga students so that they can always go back to it. Hindi nyo na kailangan mag-print every time. No? Uh, kung nawala nung bata yung kopya, the student can always go back and retrieve it from from uh, Google Drive. Ayan. So, this is a ba very basic uh, starter pack. No? Uh, as soon as matutunan nyo yung mga features ng mga tools na to, apps na, to, na ito, uh, I'm sure you will be encouraged to to apply this in certain uh, problems that you can try to solve in your schools as you build your scaffold and try to jumpstart your school into digital learning. Yun. So uh, I will end uh, the presentation at this point, Sir Adrian, and maybe we can, um, kung may questions, <laughs> Okay. Thank you very much, Sir Isaac. I'm sure madaming natutunan ulit yung mga participants natin today. Again, thank you very much also for raising raising the concern sa audio kanina. Uh, sorry Mayroon for the audio. audio. <laughs> we'll, we'll be flashing some of the comments earlier. I think we have a question about Google Slides from Rona Dichoso. Ayan. So from from Rona, Miss Rona, what kind of features does Google Slide offer? Um, well, kung, kung familiar kayo sa, well, it's basically a slide a slide presentation program. Um, you can create a presentation. Uh, you can make it um multimedia, pwede kang maglagay ng photos, pwede kang maglagay ng uh, videos, 
you can basically design a a very very uh um uh feature uh laden uh, presentation slide presentation now gusto ko lang i-highlight yung um collaboration feature ng ng Google Slides you can have several students working on on one slide presentation uh, at one time it saves time it saves uh, materials and namo monitor ng teacher yung progress Yan, basically would you like i'd like to add some some more to that uh, sir Adrian? yes sa totoo lang po yung feature talaga karamihan ng Google uh, tools ay its collaborative feature so you can share your slides by link or by email address. So, na-avoid ho natin yung pagduplicate ng mga files natin. The other one is, hindi na natin kailangan magpapalit-palit ng USB or ng flash drive from one de from one laptop to another. So, it prevent us getting more viruses in for our laptops. Kasi in the long run, kung hindi natin nararamdaman ngayon, but in the long run, yun yung magiging possible problem natin, no? Is to how how we really maintain our desktop. So with sharing just our files via email, um, again, we keep our laptops clean and safe. For uh, the next question uh, from ICT I office. ICT office. Yes, nag-conduct po ba kayo ng school training for face-to-face -face training towards to Google Certified Educator? Well, actually, before the quarantine period, it's been running already for the past four or five years na nag, nag, nagpupunta kami sa iba't ibang schools to, to offer Google certifications like level one and level two. As of the moment, um, sa ngayon po na dahil uh, ano po, uh, is we are already planning to come up with an online training but once na ma magkaroon na po or ma once na makalabas na po tayo we can still continue uh, doing live trainings as well okay for, for the next question for free or merong payment? Ayan. Um, for the Google for Education accounts, if you want to apply um, for your school, that's for free po. Bali, for the for the certification trainings naman po, may mga training fees lang po siya. Um, you can email us para po we can um, answer you po on the exact details. Then from uh, Tris Karen, and updates on the file and real time. To thank you very much. Yes, tama po. So again, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the slides it's real time, and all the files are being updated in the Google Drive or your storage. Gusto ko niyan, favorite feature ko From uh, Ma'am Giselle, paano po yung training towards Google certification level 1 and level 2? And I'm very interested po. Ayan, Sir, um, Sir Isaac, thank you very much for for pointing out the Google certification. Sa totoo lang po, very helpful talaga ang certification training for the, for the teachers. Hindi lang siya about uh, gaining the skill or knowing the skill. We also help you how to strategi strategize um, for each or for all subjects po. Kasi marami nagsasabi, ah, hindi ko kailangan nito, hindi ko kailangan ng Google kasi ang tinuturo ko PE, o kaya music, wala naman na relation sa technology. But for all subjects, it's applicable. And then the other, other one, the certification will relevance as a teacher because the certification also is um, approved siya ng IST or International Standards for Technology and Education. So, ibig sabihin, once you pass the certification exam, it also proves that you are technologically equipped as a teacher. So, yun po yung level 1 and level 2. Um, for that also, for more details, um, we can email you, message you, para po sa mga, mga mas full details po. Ayan. 
Sir Robert Galines, when is the online training be available? When it comes to the online training po na dahil nga hindi na inaasahan po ang quarantine. So si Google po at si for Education Groups, si QSR ng mga webinar series na to para po matulungan kayo. Um, pa-plug ko na rin po bali on 17 to 19 their webinar conducted by GEG Philippines. Kumaga parang let's just consider na may part 2 <laughs> pero mas maikli. Ayan po. Um, for the online training um, it's still being ano inaasikaso na po ngayon para po even even at home pwede pa rin po namin kayong matulungan. We'll just take Note of the names who've um, messaged here for the certifications. We'll keep that in mind po. No? We'll, we'll, we'll take note of your names po. Babalikan po namin kayo. Ayan. May mga questions pa po. Pwede pa po tayo mag-entertain. Habang nandito pa si Sir Isaac. Ayan. Again, for the others, good evening po sa mga nanonood. Marami pa rin po tayong audience, Sir, sir Isaac. Yeah, uh, I'm waiting for iba kami mga questions. <laughs> Teachers, tanong na po kayo. Ano po yung mga, mga strategies pa na in-implement nila Sir Isaac sa kanilang school? To be exact, um, I'll just give some details. They actually trained sometime... July last year. Tama sir, no? Uh, yeah, last year. July last year. Sometime July. June, July of last year. So we trained all of their teachers and staff. And I think uh, more than uh, more than 80% passed the exam. Tama po. Mga ganun, more than 80%. So the training, for the live training, it the fastest would be three days. Pinakamabilis po yun, 8 to 5 p.m. Mabilis po yun, but it it adds pressure to the teachers. No? Kasi tatlong araw lang po yun. Yung pangatlong araw, kailangan nyo po mag-take ng online exam. So the online exam will determine yung, yung certification ninyo. Now, for, for, for Sir Isaac School, ang nangyari po, from three days po, in-extend namin yan up to six days. So, in-adjust din yeah. namin in a way na hindi eight to five, we made it uh, around one to five ng, ng five to six days. May, may, may time pa for the teachers to absorb everything. And then I think yung, yung weekend nagpahinga. So they had a little bit more time to prepare and to self-study if they want to. So yun po yung mga ibang ginagawa naming adjustments for the school. It would be better no if isang school po yung yung mapag-decide po yan ng school para the trainers can go to your school. We'll just have to know kung meron po tayong internet connection na na malakas. Or for the others naman po na feeling po ninyo hindi pa ready ang school but you are individually ready, we can set up a live bootcamp. Abangan nyo lang po yung aming mga posts or we you can follow our social media accounts para maging updated kayo sa mga latest happenings. But definitely we will be um, putting up live bootcamps or school or individual man yun. We'll try to address all the concerns of the the teacher. Thank you, Ma'am Giselle. Thanks, sir. Looking forward for the updates of trainings. May mga questions pa po? Um... I think they're very much interested, Sir Adrian, in the upcoming trainings. No? 
Um, oh, oh. And I'm glad that they're taking it serious, seriously na mag, mag-training sila. Uh, but of course, this is, this is, uh, the training should be, uh, should go side by side with the practice. No? Once matapos nyo yung training nyo, uh, you practice using, using the Google, yeah. um, for education na tools, no? Don't just stop at, for the, tapos training. Tama. For the details po ng, uh, ng training po, no? It's a mix of lecture, um, theoretical, tapos may hands-on. So, mix po yun. So, we'll prepare you for for ano yung mga possible questions or na may encounter. So, we'll really, the trainers will really prepare you to pass the exam. Pero, syempre, again, hindi lang sa trainers na kasalalay, nakasalalay din po sa inyo. <laughs> so, talagang ano, it's also the, 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 the pacing then also kasi the exam will be for three hours. So, medyo mahaba siya. Pero sa dami ng ipinagagawa na tasks, you really have to um, check and be mindful of the time. So, yun po siya. And, uh, the other one is, uh, we don't also offer lang the training for the sake of training. We want to help teachers to have a sustainable um, sustainable implementation. Hindi lang siya hype na, ah, this year, um, naging Google certificate. Tapos, wala. So, we'll help you how to develop the school culture about technology and innovation. Um, there's another comment from Popprint TV. Did implement online lectures with your students during this time too, sir? If so, how did you do it? Ah, yes, we, uh, some of our teachers uh, use Google Hangouts for, for the lectures. And um, we, we scheduled it carefully. Um, so we know kung sino mga students yung uh, will abs- absorb uh, quickly during uh, online lecture. So nakagrupo yun. No? And another, another group of students uh nam, we know we'll, we'll we'll ask many questions um we schedule a different time for them so parang nagsegregate din kami uh and then meron din kami mga individual uh, individual short 10 minute lectures for students who still have questions again using uh google hangouts also Mar- there are other tools but uh, mostly we use the google hangouts Follow-up question from Giselle. Three hours examination included na po dyan yung hands-on? Yes. yes. So, i- pahapyawan ko po kayo ng onte. So, a first part would be theoretical. So, that's multiple choice, matching type, mga ganyan, drag and drop, iba-iba po. And then yung second half would be from part 1 to part 11. Exacto, exacto. No? Part 1 to part 11 na hands-on. So you'll be moving from one app to another. There will be um, there will be sets of instructions, what to do. So susundan nyo po siya. Ang importante po dito is uh, to prepare the teachers dun sa, ano, dapat familiar sila kung saan pinipindot yung mga settings, saan pinipindot yung mga ganto. So yun yung mga bagay na dapat paghandaan ng mga teachers. So, all in all, that's three hours exam. Kapag hindi po natapos sa exam, pag inabutan ng, ng oras, it will cut and it will already um, determine your score. So, you will have to wait for less than an hour before the results come out and it will be sent to your email. Kapag pass po or pasado, wala pong score na sasabihin. Sasabihin lang na your uh, success, uh, examination successful and then Google will email you um, all your online certificates and all. Kapag naman pong hindi po pinalad pong pumasa, i- y- um, ibibigay ni Google yung score ninyo. Again, the, sorry, the passing score po kasi is 80% and above. So pag hindi po kayo pumasa, um, Ibibigay niya yung score ninyo, tapos ibibigay din niya yung mga points for improvement. Kung saan po kayo medyo um, 
na dehado. Pero hindi niya ipapakita yung ano, yung correction key. Wala na po. And then, uh, you can only take the exam in a year. Mm, three times in a year. So, may mga teachers po tayo, one take. May ibang teachers na two take. May iba na three. But again, under our training and uh, our supervision, wala naman pong lumagpas sa tatlo. Marami pong nakaka-first take. Marami din po nakaka-second take. Ayan. Medyo nakakaba lang siya, Sir Adrian. No? Pero once you start focusing after the, the uh, first 10 minutes, uh, parang smooth sailing na. But yeah, you have to be mindful with the time kasi may mga task na ipapagawa sa'yo. So you, you budget your time wisely during the exam. Mm. So I think yun na lang po, no, sir? Yeah, I, I, I guess we uh, answered all the uh, uh, other questions. Uh, sir Isaac, maraming salamat po for your time, for sharing your your best practices and your experiences. I uh, think good luck not, sa mga schools. Yeah. Yes, uh, this, will be, this will not be the last. Abangan nyo po yung aming mga susunod pa ng mga webinars um, sa mga susunod na mga series. Um, right now, this is Adrian Cruz and Sir Isaac, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Stay safe and uh, stay healthy. Good. Ayan. Thank you po. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.